fall. I put some ice on you cause you gotta go. Home. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go. Got that ass to the floor. Oh, you ain't gotta do with none of these niggas on. Hey y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Diamond and I would love for you to stick around. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. From the title of this video, I am sure you guys can tell what this is all about. And then I'm also sure you expected this from me. Like y'all probably expecting nothing less of me than to give this video. So I have to give the people what they've been asking for. And I'm not gonna lie, I did this for myself too. I did it for myself being completely transparent here this was for me too so i am super excited about this video no long introduction needed it is the semi-annual sale at bath and body works and i definitely partook if you want to see all the things i got as well as the deals that i got them for continue to watch this video but before you do that go ahead and like this video if you haven't already subscribed do that as well and then leave in the comment section below some sense that you will be on the lookout for this semi-annual sale. Semi-annual sale started on June 14th and I went on the very first day to shop the deal. I went after work. I was like, mm-mm, soon as I can go, I'm going. This year, I really limited myself. Usually, I kind of pick up whatever my heart desires in the store, but this year, I have some goals in line and I've also told myself I'm not spending money on things that I don't need and I already have which was a lie. I lied to myself. We do it. We all do it. But I did tell myself, if it's not the top deal that there is, you can't get it. So that means I didn't buy any 50% off. I lied again. I can't help myself at this point. I mostly didn't buy any 50% off. There are some exceptions, which I will explain. But for the most part, I only bought 75% off, which is the highest that it goes. There were some deals. A lot of things were 50% off. A lot of body care was $4.95, which is like close to 75% off, but not quite yet. It's But it's also more than 50% off. And then some body care was like $7 each one. I didn't buy any of those. I only bought body care for 75% off. Then candles. I bought some 50% off candles. That's where the lie came in. I did buy some 50% candles because I was just like, why not? And then I bought one candle that was 75% off. So minus the three candles that I bought for 50% off, everything I bought was 75% off. And y'all, you just can't beat that deal. I will be going back to shop some more things just because they have different scents every day. And so I will go back to do a little part two but I will be waiting until Victoria's Secret does their semi-annual sale. Y'all, they've been trying to be funny about giving out the date. They've been real funny about that. So I don't know when that'll be, but when it happens, I will shop the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. Let me know if y'all want the video for that. And when I do that, I will also go ahead and hit up the Bath and Body Works again before they end. And we'll see if I can get some good deals. I'm sure I will, but we'll see what scents I can pick up at that time. But for today, let's focus on the now. Okay, so I have three big old bags. Well, one big bag and two small bags that are full to the brim. So here's my big bag and then my two small bags. So starting with my big bag, which contains candles and wallflowers. First candle I picked up is watermelon lemonade. I love this candle. It smells so good. I love this candle. I love this wallflower. Um, they need to come out with a body care. That would be amazing. I don't know, y'all. It just smells so good. I don't know. It smells it smells really good and it was 50% off like I said before. Then this is the 75% off candle that I picked up and it is called winter and some people might judge me for picking this up because it's summer it's hot outside it's about 100 degrees here in Missouri but what does that have to do with your candle I'm not understanding I don't follow them rules I'm gonna burn a winter candle on the 4th of July if I want to I don't care another candle I got is sunny lime and I don't know, this one smells like it's almost giving me a little bit of eucalyptus mint, if you know how that smells. It almost smells like that. I don't know, it's almost that, but it's not. <laughs> and that's the best description I have. This is called Bubbly Rose. I love this packaging and it smells really good. Then I picked up this candle called Mango Mai Tai. 
And this one ain't even doing it for me right now. It's really not. I still feel good about the purchase because I picked it up for some reason. So it must have smelled good in the store. But right now, I'm just not getting anything from it, honestly. But I still have hope. Out of all five candles, my favorite is Watermelon Lemonade. So if you can get any of them, I definitely recommend that one. Next, I picked up some wallflowers. And honestly, the wallflowers weren't that good of a deal. I just so happened to need some wallflowers and they were on sale, a little bit of a sale. So I was like, let me just get some. But the wallflowers were $3.50 a piece. But I got four of them. I got sunshine and lemon i love all lemon scents like if it has some lemon in it it's for me i don't know it just reminds me like i love to have my house smelling clean and to me lemon in your home is just the epitome of a clean home like oh i got brazilian blue waters sun ripened raspberry and raspberry tangerine i guess i must have really been feeling the raspberry now that is all for home fragrance let's move on to body care so i was very happy to see a lot of scents that i had either missed out on when they rolled out this year or I had never even heard of them. Like uh, there's some scents I got that I had never even heard of. And I was so excited about that because for one, they smelled good. And for two, like, I don't know, it's just exciting to find a new find that you've never, you know, I feel like that's what semi-annual sale is about though. It's all like, it's really a thrill. It's like, it's all about like seeking out a good deal and then finding some things that you didn't think you were gonna find. So. I am all here for it. So the first scent that I picked up is coconut cream pie. And honestly, I don't know where I was at. I must have been in one of my not spending money phases when this rolled out because I remember it rolling out. Like I remember seeing it in stores, but I was at my sister's house recently and she had this scent and it smells super good. So I was like, yep, definitely picking that up. So I got that. I also got the scent chocolate covered cherry. And I'm, let me smell this again, cause that don't even sound good. If this wasn't $3 and 13 cent, it'll be going back. See, you just be in the mood to shop and you just be picking stuff up. I don't know why I picked this up. All right, another scent that I was super excited about is Magnolia Charm. And I was so excited about this because I have never seen this scent. I don't know, maybe it's a remake of something that was done before, but I've never seen this scent, never seen this packaging, and I'm here for both of them. Yeah, it smells really good. If you really like floral scents, then I definitely recommend. Um, I almost would think that it would smell like kind of gardenia, which I love gardenia as a candle, but not so much as a body care scent, but it does not smell like gardenias, but it is still florally. And it has like some sweetness into it as well. So I definitely recommend this and I got the shower gel as well as the body cream and I do prefer the body creams over the body lotions I know a lot of people say the opposite but I like the thickness of the body cream better I also picked up this body cream in the scent papaya paradise cove and I am almost a thousand percent sure I already have the shower gel to this don't think I have the fragrance mist but they didn't have it out and I ain't worried about it, no way. Another scent that I had never seen before, so I was super excited about was Daydream. Now I'm not a fan of this packaging. I just think that's pretty ugly. So Daydream smells, let's smell it again. You definitely have to let Daydream dry down a little bit. Like I, when I just smelled it right now, I could tell it smelled good, but the, it did still have a little bit of that alcoholy strong when you first smell it. That kind of goes for all fragrances, fine fragrances, body, Bath and Body Works, that's the same. But I don't know, sometimes you can get away with just sniffing off that. This ain't one of those. But when you return to it, it's a very good scent. It's very soft. And I think it definitely would remind me of a daydream. Like it's sweet, but soft. And it's just like kind of whimsical. It's it's whimsical, like a daydream, I would say. Then I picked up Champagne Toast. And I know I've had Champagne Toast before, but for some reason, I really feel like I got rid of it. For like $3, I was like, let me pick it up because why not? Like, so if I do still have a Champagne Toast, then I'll just give this away. But if not, I have one now. Next thing I got was Frosted Coconut Snowball. And I really like the Frosted Coconut scent. I have another Frosted Coconut something and it smells super good. If I'm not mistaken, it's Frosted Coconut Marshmallow. That sounds kind of right, I'm not quite sure. But it just smells really good. The coconut is just really like, I don't know, I love smelling like coconut. When you smell like coconut, you smell like a melanin goddess, a melanated 
queen. That's how I envision it. I then have Champagne Apple and Honey in the Shower Gel and the Fragrance Mist. And y'all, don't that just sound good? Champagne, Apple, and Honey, that all sound good. And it all sound good together. Like, what's not to love? And it just smells super good. This one is a little bit harder to describe. I feel like I can smell the honey and then the kind of like i don't want to say the word tart like you know how an apple is like sweet but kind of like citrusy i don't want to say citrusy but it smelled good next i got raspberry jam donut and i just expected this to smell like raspberry but now that i'm re-smelling it i definitely see why they put donut but it does have some like vanilla like a donut would it does have that kind of doughy smell and then it does have that sweetness of the raspberry i also got this scent called brown sugar and fig and this scent still has the wrapping on it so i'm not even gonna go through all that of unwrapping it i would almost describe this as like a shea butter smell but then it does have that sweetness and kind of i don't know I don't know how to describe it, but it smells really good. Let's read the notes that it has. Fresh fig, coconut milk, and caramelized brown sugar. Okay, we are ending the near of the body care. I feel like I zoomed through this because y'all, I have a tendency to just over talk like in videos, but especially hauls. I just be talking. So I tried not to do that this time around. Let me know if y'all want me to go back to the old way though. Okay, this scent is called frosted snow blossom and once again i love frosted scents and this one is good this one honestly oh because the word blossom duh i was about to say this one smells florally a blossom is a flower but yeah it smells florally but it does still have that kind of icicle smell if an icicle had a smell but i can definitely see where the frosted comes in it it smells really good though I also forgot to mention when I showed Magnolia Charm, I also was able to get the fragrance mist of that as well. So that means I have the full trio, the trifecta on Magnolia Charm. This next one, I believe I'm in love with this scent and let me tell you why. Some scent while I was shopping got in my mask somehow, some way. And so I still did some shopping around the mall and then I went to Marshall's after all that. And all I could smell was a scent in my mask all day that smelled so good and i think it was be enchanted and it was y'all this smells so good this is probably gonna be my for lifer and i don't know where this scent came from this is another scent i've never seen where did be enchanted come from can somebody let me know the collection that this dropped in because i'm confused but i like it be enchanted probably my favorite one of the whole haul and then the very last scent we have is a oldie but a goodie at least i feel like it is and that is black cherry merlot and y'all you always see black cherry merlot in the store but i just never pick it up now i can definitely see how people don't like this to me y'all it almost smells like that jergens with the the cherry blossom um scented jergens that's what it almost smells like but to me it's better like it's a little sweeter but maybe that's why i like it i like black cherry merlot but i understand if it's not your cup of tea and i did a little survey on my instagram and nobody won i really wanted to give y'all a prize but nobody won nobody was within ten dollars twenty dollars and i had told myself you had to be within ten dollars each way either plus or minus ten dollars to get the prize and nobody came within that so no prize winner you guys i asked the grand total of my trip to bath and body works and the answer is so i got all this stuff that y'all saw in the video it came out to this long receipt and i paid $153.11. I got all this stuff for $153. When she said that, I was like, that is a good price. <laughs> My total discount was $283.35. So I saved almost $300 at Bath and Body Works yesterday. I'm very happy with my purchases, just so y'all know. Very happy with my purchases. Except for that one little thing I like, but we're not gonna talk about that. Anyway, that is the end of this video. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I was so happy to make this video. I was so happy to go shop for this video. I'm just a happy camper. 
I'm really interested in what you guys are going to be getting from the semi-annual sale. So please don't forget to drop that in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you tuning in. Once again, I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. Please show me a little love by liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.